G'day everyone, welcome back to Aussie Outdoor Reviews. This video, we're gonna be spinning up a bloody beautiful charcoal chicken on the Bunnings $85 mini jumbuck. So, pop a cork, crack a can, put on a brew, and let's get on with the show. First things first, we gotta get the charcoal on the go, then we're gonna throw the chicken on the rod, and it's as simple as that. All right. So, it's pretty simple, folks. It's messy. Now you wanna get your first fork on. You're gonna to wanna to cinch it down. Just like we did with the lamb, you're gonna to wanna to cinch this down. You don't really want it wiggling now. Straight up the guts. You better believe it, right? And then you want to Hold the legs in, and you wanna have your two prongs around the ankles, basically holding it down. And then you wanna push it up, and you will find, as you can see here, that your fork or your prong, whatever you wanna call it, will hold your legs in. Look, if when you're spinning one of the legs comes out, just leave it, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be so juicy and tender and just succulent. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. As, um, as Shuey would say, she's gonna be moist, real moist. So let's get this one on. Now, remember, like I mentioned in the lamb video, you want your, you want your thumb screws here that secure your forks. You want them to be on the same orientation. If you do need to move this up and down the rod when you're outside, it just makes it a lot easier to stop the spin or pull it off, you know, get it on your table like this and go for it. So I think that looks pretty good, but as you can see, this is about um, what's gonna be sitting over the coals. So I'm gonna slide him down a touch. Okay, as you can see, it's simple, right? Get him in the middle. Tighten down that grub screw. This is a messy process. You're not, you're not ever gonna do this without it being messy. Now, just like we did with the, with the legs on the other side, if you can tuck the wings in, do it. Uh, if you can't, again, don't worry about it. I've managed to get one wing tip in here, but I'm not too, I'm not too fast if it flops around. It's just gonna get, the, that wing tip will just get nice and crunchy and crispy as it cooks. So again, snug down that grub screw. Look folks, that's it. She's ready for the rotisserie. Okay, so these are the sort of reused coals and I've thrown one new big lump on there. That's actually pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is go and throw on my charcoal chimney. Ripper. Now, now she's hot. You better believe it. You want to use the two second rule? You should be able to hold your hand around where your meat's cooking uh, for about two seconds. Um, any longer than that, you don't have enough heat. If it's uh, you know shorter than that, you've got a little bit too much heat, you need to spread your coals out. One thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set my counterweight now, and I'm gonna set it so it's it's perpendicular with this, with this end of the chicken. And I do that because that is the lightest side of my rotisserie, and it should stop it from flip-flopping around a little bit. But other than that, Sit back, relax, have a brew. Around two hours later, we should have a beautiful charcoal chicken. She's starting to really look good now, folks. Um, she's been on just over an hour. You can see those coals have died down nicely. We're getting some nice charcoal smoke. So now I need to take an internal temperature. I'm looking for about 74. 
and I'm deliberately probing the thickest parts of the meat. So we're still about 10 degrees off, so probably about another half hour to 45 minutes. And there we have it. Two hours, you can see the coals are reduced quite substantially. We've just hit an internal temperature of 75 degrees Celsius, which is just perfect. It is gonna be beautifully moist and juicy. So there you have it, the cheapest, quickest, and easiest spin on the Bunnings $85 mini jumbuck is a charcoal chicken. Thanks for watching everyone and catch you in the next video.